All right, man, here we go. Episode six of the Mr. Peter Parker podcast. Got the God Tito Jackson with me. What's up, sir? Peace, man. What's going on? How are you? Everything Feeling good? good? I mean, it kind of got seasonal allergies right now, but we're going to make it happen this afternoon. Coming up uh, in this episode, we're talking to the legend himself, Capadonna of the Wu-Tang Clan. I want to talk about Saturday night. I know you tapped in and saw Raekwon and Ghostface do their thing. He performed. He was there. I want to yep. talk about that. I know he's got some new music. I want to talk about the Hulu series. Hopefully, I don't have to blow my nose too many times during this episode. But I'm here. Shout out to Seasonal Allergies and the Heavy Hitters Worldwide. Mr. Fuck Peter you Parker. to Seasonal Allergies. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking leaking right now. Hold on a second, man. Let's get into it. Hey, from the legendary Wu-Tang Clan, we are clapping in the studio for Cappadonna. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, let's go. Donna Kappa Goin. What's up, baby? How are you? Ray Spaghetti Lord. I'm just cooling out right now, you know. Out here writing some new joints. I'm about to drop that Black Tarzan project. Yeah, it's really? coming. Really? Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. March 24th. That's big. I was going to ask you what's up with the new music, but you're cooking right now. Yeah, March 24th. I've been dropping yep. projects like crazy, um, like every two months in the past like six months. You like that process of putting, like, back in the day, it was, like, every year. Now it's, like, faster releases. You like that? Yeah, I love it because, you know, it just gives me the opportunity to stay busy and do what I love to do the most. Yeah, feed your fans. Like, you can you can cater to your fans, the people that really fuck with you, too, you know? That's right. That's right. And, you know, I got a message, man. So, you know, I always try to stay, you know, in tune with what's going on and, you know, what kind of guidance that, that the youth need. You know, Wu-Tang is going to always be for the children, too, as well as Most definitely. everybody else. So, you know, Most we definitely. try to keep that sustenance popping in there. Yeah, I, I always say, like, when, when RZA said Wu-Tang forever in 97, it, it felt really ambitious back then, but it was a fact. Like, you guys, what you guys did on Saturday night, I mean, this was, this was very special. What 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 down? Ghost Ray. I stepped out for a second, cab right to get a little beverage or something. I come back yeah. in, and you've got the orange vest on. Nice. And I was and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, listen, listen, we got to talk about the vest. We got to talk about that night. Yo, did it feel as special as it did for us? For you? No, it, I feel like the vest had superpowers. You were out there, G. Yeah, um, you know, I, I um. You know, I really didn't know much about the, the battle. I seen the fly and everything yeah. on there, but you know, I wasn't really contacted directly. Um, so I hit Ray up and just asked him, you know, if it was cool if I come and uh, you know, bless you with my presence and you know, support Word. your, your yeah. movement real quick while you got it going on. And he was like, Yeah, I heard you was coming through anyway. I was like, Oh wow, then <laughs> Okay. Um, I heard that, hey, word. You know, okay. So, yeah. You know, so you know, to just to have that, that that direct invitation, mm -hmm. you know, it, it it meant a lot to me, man. It meant a lot to me because you know, it's special. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, and, and and again, like I said, I didn't know I was going to come out and do ice cream or even do any of that. Like I said, I just came to watch. Nah, in the I, background somewhere, you I know what it. I mean? But I see RZA popped out. I was like, oh, okay. Right. Then, I was shocked to see RZA. That was cool. Like I said, I didn't know none of that was going to happen. It was very. You special. didn't know that all those guys were going to be there? Nah, I was as shocked as you was. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, you, looking on, you looking on, and I'm there experiencing the same shock. <laughs> so you oh, had wow. no preparation. When they passed you the mic to come out and do your verse, you just was like, I'm here, it's whatever. I'm here. I'm, I'm definitely going to do that in and out, in and out like Guinness style, not to mess <laughs> up, you know, what was already orchestrated. Clean. clean. Yeah, yes, clean, smooth cut. In and out. I have to show you something. God, look at this. Now, this is last time I seen <laughs> you. I, 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 wanted, I was trying to get the autograph on this joint. This wow. Right, this right here from 97? Yeah. Listen, I, 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 I say the records that were played on Saturday night. From 25 years ago, sounded brand new. The energy was new. It was young energy. Very nice. exciting, man. Very cool, man. Nice. I appreciate that, man. You know, and I always try to keep my projects like that. I, I don't never do the same thing. You know, right. I, I think my craziest uh, transition was 
from the pillage to the yin and the yang. Yep. Yep. I but lost the- a lot of people with that, but what it was, it, it was something that I was going through as an artist. It was, it was, it was so spiritual at that time. I don't mm-hmm. know if it was because I was in Florida or whatever it was. Okay. But I came with a yin and a yang and it, it came different mm-hmm. from the pillage, but you know, mm-hmm. Let me ask you about the pillage, though. One of my, one of my, over time, it's grown with me so much. When it dropped, I loved it. When I first heard this thing, you were in such a bag back then. We're talking about winter wars, these verses. You, at one point, to me, were the greatest MC alive. There was a moment where it was Cappadonna is this, you came out of nowhere, (laughs) right? Now, when you got to the point where you did the pillage, how much of that was a written, Thing, or how much of did you freestyle and kind of just go with the moment when you were in there? Um, it was sort of like just a mixture of both, you know. Yep. Like I said, it's it's what we was going through and the feeling that was involved at that time and the emotion, you know, it, it, it kind of just was coming. It was yeah. coming. Whether I felt it, that. You know, yeah. So I might write a couple of bars and then freestyle some some other shit and <laughs> yeah. then oh. yeah, then then add on to that. I mean, because it, it was going, you know, according. Right. Well, it was going right. according. You know, the stories that I was telling, right. a lot of that was happening right where I was writing it, you know? Right, right, right. Well, it felt fresh. It felt like you did it in a short period of time. Like, you know what that's I mean? What I, yes, yes, yes. You, got, you hit it right on the head. I man. felt it. And, yeah. And it happened so fast that I didn't get a chance to train. <laughs> I believe it. No, I believe. Listen, you came in so hot, and by the time you hit the pillage, the energy. Now, this album has grown with me over years. Like, oh, now I go back to it. It's one of my favorites. We've even seen like Drake shout you out. A lot of people have really right. grown with this album o- over the last twenty years, man. Give me, give me. You got to answer me this for me personally. Outside of your solo projects, your top three favorite Wu Tang solo albums um i won't make you do five only three i mean of course the the into the 36 chambers yeah uh the w mm. uh, a, a diagram okay word up wow okay different yeah. errors too different different errors across the board yeah yeah different feelings and everything you know some of them albums like uh you know, like the W um, and, and stuff like that. You know, it just reminds me of what state of mind we was in and where we was yep. at. Yep. How, how, you know, how much more closer we was. You know, I mean, it was to the point where we went out a whole complex, like a um, what they call them things, them, them, them extended stays. Uh, We'd be in that whole joint, the whole team, and man. yeah, 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 making music and hanging uh, out, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, and that's that's the super glue that that's needed to continue to produce more more work like that. Yeah, that environment that that is yeah, important, very yeah, important. That kind of energy. I, I think on the first series of the Hulu show that you guys have, there's a there's a, a clip of you, a character that's supposed to be you. I feel like in the first season. Um, have you watched this Hulu show? Are, are you are you involved with the second season of this? Yeah, I, I watched it. Um, yeah, the second season is coming. Um, I, I'm not sure how they cut it up or right. You know how they mixed it up. Um, you know, we're not directly in the movie, so you know that I, that's something I long to be for. You know what I mean? Like they they should cut us in somewhere. Let us play another character. Yeah. Now, how do you definitely. how do you feel like they portrayed it so far? I mean, they portrayed it. You know, some of it is real, some of it is fiction. But you yeah. know, yeah. like I said, man, like I, I know for a fact that everybody wanted and was waiting to just see <sighs> one of us pop up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like uh, that would have been like, ah. Yeah, yeah, you know that I mean? moment. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, nah. you know. I enjoyed um, it, but I could tell it was a little Hollywood. You know what I mean? It was a little bit of Hollywood to it. Yeah, well, you need that. I mean, that's how they that's how they get their bread. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. They they, yep. they 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 um they stepped in to do us a great honor, you yep. know, and um yep. 
you know, because the, the movie is rest- has restrictions, like, you know, as far as for the nature of its content. Right. Yep. You know, so to, to still give us a shot at that is a blessing, man. It's special, man. It's cool. It's so special. you um you obviously when Red and Butter was touring um before COVID. What uh what do you got going on now that COVID you, you guys see yourself touring again? You guys see yourself doing shows anytime soon or what do you got going on? Um I think there's some shows gonna take place. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm saying? It's cool, man. It's cool. Um Get them back out there. It, it's yeah, it's something on the roster, but right now it's it's like you gotta play it by ear. Kind of wait and see. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, think you would get a shot? Would you think you would get uh, get a shot? At the at the shows? No, in no. general, to go and move around. Would you think that you'd be one to get a vaccine? Um, it, it's a possibility, man. You know, I'm mm-hmm. seeing I'm seeing great things right. and, and results with it. I don't see nobody passing out. They must have perfected it and all of that. I said right. someone today, I said, if you had shown me a statistic that said 10, 15 percent of the people that take it are passing out or going crazy, losing their hair, crazy. I'm not going near it. <laughs> exactly. We haven't, you know heard I mean? that. we haven't heard it. You That's know, like, a rap. That's a the rap. rap. Oh, yeah. Like 15% like, you know, they die. No. Yeah. Yeah. You know, scientists is like, you know, they can also set it up to where it won't affect you until years later. I know the microchip. I already know, man. I know, you know it's scary, so I, bro. It's scary. Yeah, it's the, you know, the whole process is scary, you know. It's a drug, nonetheless. Right. It's it's a drug. I mean, a fucking needle injection. Yeah, somebody yeah, else yeah, want to yeah. give it. Somebody else want to give you that. They recommending it. Damn, they're threatening you to take it. And the same people that I don't trust on every other level are telling me that this is safe. That's a difficult thing, man. That's a challenge. Yeah, yep. yeah. With the his with the history of things and how it right. is, you know, it's like, ah, right, come on, you know. I'm but, fifty fifty. Um, but 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 yeah, you know. When we did the uh, the battle, you know, they made us take a test upon entry. Wow. Right, right, right. You have to take a little. So, right. Yeah. So that was my first time. Okay. Taking that test right the there. The one you this. shake, the shake, the one you have to spit in, you shake it. You got not. Nah, they put the, the thing in your nose. Oh, you got the whole. De- okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's a so rapid I, one. It shows the results right then and there, right? Yeah, so, I, so I'm looking, so I'm looking, you know, why the whole thing is going down, and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do here? Right. And then I said to myself, you know what? Okay, I, I, I see. I seen a couple of other people. I know Ray is there. everybody up there, so I'm like, all right, yeah, your people are in there, right? Look, we'll do it, right? Right, right. This is right. what we doing. So yeah. you know, I took it like a military move. <laughs> To face, like, I heard it goes in <laughs> here, like up to your head, like. Yeah, no, it, it, and they ain't even do all of that. They, they cool. did a couple of swabs around the rim, cool, and they was and they was done with it. And I was like, mm, no praise, do stepped in there. Yeah, man. You know, and, and I've been I've been tested a couple times. It was yeah. it was simple. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't yeah, it was like a, like make yeah. it seem. But. That's cool, yeah. man. Yo, talk about when that album is dropping one more time. You said you're working on a new project. When yeah, that March 24th. March 24th. You know, the pillage dropped March 24th. Back Word in up. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Oh. So it's, 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 to me, it's just like, wow, I get the opportunity to drop on that date again. I mean, that to right. me, that's that's just a, a spiritual blessing in disguise. Yeah, man. That's you dope. Know? That's dope. And I, that's dope. Yeah. And the songs is gonna um I think it's you know the fact that it's real hip hop. Yeah. And and the people who whoever listened to it is gonna understand that I'm still consistent with it and they're gonna be like, yo, this is this is real hip hop. Like, oh shit. Like who, who you got who you got doing production on that? Um I got my man DJ Intrigue. Okay. DJ Intrigue, you know what I'm saying? He he from out of Queens and um Long Island. He he um he out in LA right now. He's doing commercials and all of that stuff. But yeah, the brother, the, the brother is a DJ. He been DJing for me and doing parties for me. He Word. nice. Word. And um, you know, he he reached out and, and put that energy on me. Like, you know, that a lot of people ain't doing it like that. Right, 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 right. You know, right. And, willing, and, and willing to put the work in. Like he's he, you know, he mixing and mastering and it's, yeah, you know, so I I, I, I 
yeah, I respect this work. So yeah, I gave him that opportunity, man. You know, that joint's gonna drop. I had posted the the cover. It was a lot of controversy on that on that um Black Tarzan album cover that I, I posted. Um, you can probably go online, go Look on my page way. on Instagram and check it out. Yeah, and it was crazy, but you know they they was complaining about the artwork and you know the poor uh, designing, but I was like, yo, this was a vi- this is my vision. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. art. This, this right. is art. Like you can't really put a price on art. Like you don't yo, know. I, could I, I, I see my art. man Almighty eighty in here. Like I'm buying five copies. Like the team is strong <laughs> though. You know what I mean? Like they're ready for it, man. <laughs> Shout to Almighty, uh, man. Yeah, yo, no like doubt. so, so like. This is you got your man doing the production. The, the art looks crazy. It's like the, the this way this whole book, this graphic thing that you have is <laughs> fire. It's just crazy. As a, 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 your pen, like your energy. How do you feel right now? Do you feel like your your sword is still really sharp? You feel good? Yeah, I, I feel great, man. And like I said, I'm still writing. I got other projects in the making too, and I'm just. You know, Dope. knocking them out left and right, man, and it and it feel good. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm not a one track minded MC. Right. I go to all dimensions and all different realms and spiritual music. I, I do my little reggae stuff and uh, yeah, yeah. you know, oh. it, and it's just a perfect time. Yeah, man. It's a oh. perfect time for it. A lot of it's not really a lot of hip hop out there no more. No, no, you no. Any, it's, it's different. It's way you different. got any features on the project? Um, I got Killer Priest on there, on a joint, and yeah. um, you know my other man, uh, Kelso, he coming up. You know his 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 graphic, his pen game is is nice. You know he he's more into um Egyptology and stuff like that. And then oh. you know Killer Priest is like an Israelite. Yeah, <laughs> right, he's unbelievable. You know what I mean? So. You know, I just keep those elements there just to keep balance and harmony yeah. in everything I do. You know, I am the angel of rap, so right. I got to always give you some 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 manner and quail. That's dope, man. Yo, good luck to you, man. Thanks for checking in today. Yo, one of our favorites, and, and yo, so excited to see you out there doing your thing on Saturday. I was like, I called Saki. I'm like, I need Cap. I need to find out what's going on with this vest. This, this is a major moment. I was like, this was hot, son. Yo. Yeah, that GLF, you know what I'm saying? For more uh, questions and answers on GLF clothing, okay. you know, such as that vest I have, which is now out of season. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That was my fall edition, so we're going into spring now. Okay. Um, but, yeah, go to www.glfent.com. Is that your www. brand? Is that you? Is that you? That's my brand. Let's That's my go. brand. I knew you were on it. I knew you were on oh, it, yeah. man. That's oh. yo. And and, yeah. and and I'm telling you, the, the, your style. You always had such an original way of presenting your gear in such a unique way. Always inspired me, man. Really. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You know, I call it my casual rugged style. Of course, <laughs> the catalog, man. I remember when they called you catalog. <laughs> Catalog King, right? Yeah, you know everything. Had the whole book. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know all of the crazy shit, man. I know, so, I know, I know. Yeah, um, you know, I want, I want to keep that energy going. I want to pass oh, yeah. that torch. You oh. know, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of young, upcoming Poppy Wardrobe Kings out there. Right, right. You know that 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 want to share their talent. So mm-hmm. you know, at my point, in my, and at the point I'm at, and the gratefulness that you know that I inherited. You know, I'm always trying to put these young bl- brothers on and, and yeah. um, you know, do things with them, you know, just to increase the peace in the hip hop culture, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, very positive, man. Man, salute to you, the whole Wu Tang clan. Thank you for coming on today, man. Big love, Thank bro. You, I appreciate both of y'all, man. Be easy and uh, stay focused Thanks. out there. Y'all have a wonderful spring. My man, talk I'll to you soon. You too, bro. Peace. Peace. Peace.